everybody. Welcome back to Awesome Autographs and More. Uh, this is episode number 20. Uh, it was a very slow week. I actually went out of town on Thursday, I think. Or possibly Friday. I don't remember. But anyways, uh, at that point, I only had one TTM and a uh, like a double private signing I had sent two, two things into a uh, private signing, which I'll explain when I get to it. Um, and while I was gone, ended up getting a couple more TTMs, so the video won't be quite as sparse as it would have otherwise been. Anyways, let's get to it. I also have a couple of packs of the 2023 Bowman I think I'm going to open up. Uh, first return, this is a two of two return in... 106 days from Mr. Terry Kirby. Let's see if we can get this. I'll give you a good shot of the autograph and zoom it in. He played for the NFL from 1993 to 2002. Played with Minnesota, San Francisco, Cleveland, and Oakland. And of course, the only card I had of his was an Oakland one, which is the team he played the least for. Uh, and this other one is one of the classic four-sport draft picks, which most of you younger guys probably don't remember. <laughs> Wish they still produced these cards. They were pretty cool. But anyways, that's Mr. Kirby. Uh, yeah, let's put him there. Uh, next up are the two private signings, which were through the Chicago Sports Appearance Connection, or CSAC for short, and I'll put their information in the description uh, on this for people who might be interested in, but they typically do uh, signings with Chica people or players, athletes who have played in Chicago at some point in time. Um, first up is Mr. Ron Coomer. I had two of the same cards, and these are the only two cards I had. Uh, I think they were called Starting Line. I'm sorry, but my eyes are not quite so good. That's blurry to me. But anyways, uh, these were minor, minor league cards. Uh, Mr. Coomer. Coomer did play Major League Baseball from 1995 to 2003. He was a one-time All-Star in 1999. Most of his time was with Minnesota Twins, six years there, and then he finished out his career playing a year for each of the Cubs, the Yankees, and the Dodgers. Mr. Ron Coomer. The other private signing that CSAC had handled recently was Mr. Terry Cummings, played from the 1982-83 uh, season to the 1999-2000 season with the NBA, played for several teams. He started his career with the San Diego Clippers, uh, then moved on to the Milwaukee Bucks, the San Antonio Spurs. Each of those two teams he played with six years. Seattle, Philadelphia, the Knicks, a year with each of those three. And then two years to finish his career with Golden State. That's Mr. Terry Cummings. Again, didn't have very many cards of his. I do like these um, greats of the game. I think they're done by Upper Deck. Uh, but those are those are pretty cool cards. I like those. Yeah, Upper Deck. Sorry. That's Mr. Terry Cummings. Stuff over there. Next up, uh, these last two came in on Saturday while I was off running a half marathon. Uh, both of which had a fee. First, Mr. Ron Say, I got a card signed for my uh, 19, 
93 action-packed baseball set. <clears throat> and then also a Chicago Cubs card shows him in Dodgers and Cubs, which are the two primary teams that he played for. He played from 1971 to 1987, 12 years with the Dodgers, four, year, four years with the Cubs, and finished his career with a year in Oakland. It's a two-for-two two success, and it took 52 days, and it was a $15 fee through JD Legends, which is a organization out on the West Coast, very similar to what, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank, Past Pros does on the East Coast. And last but not least, uh, TTM, again with a fee, but I didn't write down how much. I think it might have been 20, but I don't remember. Mr. Rafael Palmero got two of my 1990 Leaf cards signed. Looks like that second one's got a skip in it. <laughs> uh, but two for that set. I got... Donruss Diamond King card signed, which came out really, really nice. Had to get an Orioles card signed, and I really, again, like this pinnacle design. And last but certainly not least, I have a jersey card, which he signed, and I honestly have no idea who's this is might be leaf i can't quite tell sorry i don't have my magnifier but came out really nice the glare is a little bit tough because of the surface it's a very foily surface obviously um but anyways it's mr rafael palmero and that does it for those. Let's see if we can't dig into, whoops, I forgot to put Ron Say's cards up. There we go. Open up these quickly, these packs of the 23 Bowman. And I cannot read the cards, so you guys are going to have to. We start out with one of these fancy refractor cards. Um, Edwin Arroyo. Oh, I can actually read it if I bring it up real close. That's a cool card. And of course, now I have no place else to put cards. But that's okay. And so I'm just going to quickly flip through what this pack has. down there. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Oh, cool card. Oh my God. Scouts Top 100, number 14 in Henry Davis. <clears throat> I'm guessing that's a parallel. And one more I guess another parallel. Okay, next pack. <clears throat> and in this one, we have some more cards. Surprise, surprise, right? Uh, again, I'm going to kind of leave them for you to read because I can't really see them that well. Prospects foil type card. That's a Red Sox player. That has to go into my PC for sure. Uh, da, 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 da. And a couple more parallels here. And that's it for the two packs that I had. Um, that's it. want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. 
thank the athletes for signing the cards. On our, uh, and uh, again, thank you, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.